party with Gotham and guys today we're gonna do the level lurkers but in python so without any further ado let's get into it so today in this level all you need is a sword because you're gonna kill shamans so without any further ado let's get into it so our goal here is to gently awaken the sleeping shamans and you just have to awake them so you just awake them you wake the shamans and you just kill them. So you have to only attack shamans, not yaks. So, how does this work? So, you use enemies and enemy index and you do a basic while loop. So, I explained how this loop works in my last video, so you can go check that out. In, in some of my last Sarvan Desert videos, this is like a very big concept. So, let me explain it once again. So, we have enemy index and enemy length. So, what happens is that the enemy index is zero. So, zero less than enemy length. So, enemy equals enemy zero. So, we get the first enemy. One, second enemy. Then this becomes two. This is second enemy. Three, less than the length. Three, and it should go like that until you reach the last enemy. And this is less than because zero counts as one so you need to go one less than and if enemy dot type equals a shaman while enemy health is greater than zero you attack the enemy enemy index plus and equals one so this is the solution for slay for lurkers but let me just do this is another easy way so if you just want to like keep some code in comment all you gotta do is this so now you could do this. I've been talking about four loops. They are introduced in Cloud Rip Mountains and Kelvin Tap Glaciers, but I'm just showing you this is another simple. So what this does is four enemy in enemies. It takes the each it takes each enemy in enemies. This is also a very good way, but look at how long it is. You have to have like three lines of code if you could just finish it in one. So four enemy if enemy if enemy dot type equals Shaman hero dot attack enemy and you might need the while loop because I have the sword of the forge is very good sword it can finish most of the enemies in just one hit so I'll just keep this just in case So now you just go. So for loop also works. And yeah, these are two ways which you can finish the level lurkers. But let's look at what we learned. This method is just an optional method. I'm not gonna explain this because you need to be in Cloud Jet Mountains or Kelvin Tap Glacier to understand this. So this is just another solution, but this is not the solution that we need. This is a solution that you should learn about. I just show that just for some preference to help you understand this loop. So we used a while loop, we used boolean, we used length, we used array indexing right over here right over here. We used an if loop, we used boolean, we used numbers, we used dot health, dot type, boolean, strings, the functions you can use and add an assign and arrays so that's it thank you guys for watching don't forget to share like and subscribe to this video and guys this is coding with kota and i will see you next time have a good day and if you just want to learn more about four loops i have some videos on on Kelvin Tap Glacier and Clash of Mountains, but I recommend that you don't go there until you finish Clash of Clones. And if you're having trouble on Clash of Clones, I have two videos on there, one in JavaScript and one in Python. So you can go and check that out. And just if you want to have more understanding of array indexing, you could just go and check my other videos on Sarvan Desert. Most of them are in JavaScript, but I'm remaking them in Python. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to this video. And guys, this is Cody with Gotham, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.
So yeah, I forgot to get this open. So this is Cody with Kotham, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.